Yeah, I'm good, bro. Cool. <clears throat> All right, we back. Another episode of the Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. To my left, Young Nasty. Yes. Bishop yes, Greenleaf. Yes. Out the Pearlies. My boy B. Hen. How you feeling? I'm good. How y'all doing, man? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good when my nigga smiled on the intro. You know what I'm saying? He ain't yeah. even got a cup of this hand. That's how you know it's a good vibe. Yeah, my shit down here, though. What's he, up? He must have saved some money on Mother's Day. We'll talk about that a <laughs> little bit later. <laughs> Last but not least, my right, young Nacho, young Teague, my boy. How you feeling? I'm good, man. You I ain't hear the cup shaking today, nah, man. Nah, he, yeah, he ain't got yeah, the lighter for Yeah, man, what's going on? Yeah, you ain't nah, weezy. My bad. My yeah, bad. yeah, let's just know you, you trying to give us a subpar performance. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Nah, I'm not. We're going we gonna to do our thing today. It's yeah, be good, though. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Hey. It's be good today. Nice shoes you got on there today. I respect that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got them from Pellers. <laughs> For people that ain't from that. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Fellas Mall, racing jackets and Jabos. <laughs> Couple you niggas had them. I definitely was a frequent visitor. Just I think Forty I bucks Jabos. <laughs> nah, the racing jackets was authentic, but the, the niggas getting forces in the back. Yeah, my, my forces <laughs> was fat. <laughs> the white forces. The forces elite. was trash. We used to put shoe polish on our shit. Wait, what? We should put, when they got dirty, we put shoe polish on our shit. On your white forces? Shout out to all my ripple niggas. Shout out to R.I.P. my nigga DJ. He was he was selling those fake black hats for 60. <laughs> That's a, I wore a whole outfit. I told him I got it from Chicago from DJ. Damn, he told me I got you. Hey, that used to be the craziest Jordan, lie. Jordan 10 is red and white. Yep. Damn. Got them early, three months Shout early. Shout out to my nigga, man. R.I.P. But that's crazy. The wild, the wild fake shit used to be like, hey, I got to fly out of town. Like, they don't sell the same Foot Locker shoes and this Foot Locker <laughs> that they do out of town. Y'all used to get that off a lot. I got up right. in Chicago and Foot Locker. No, oh, you got right. them from Nice Kicks before Nice Kicks became Nice Kicks. Damn, that was Nice me. Kicks was a thing. Nice Kicks, you boy. Shout out, fuck you. I'm going to shout you out on the show. Shout out to my nigga Sauce. He had the, uh, the, oh. <laughs> the, <laughs> the remix cherries, the twelves. I had some navy blue and white twelves. Bottoms fell off, nigga. I tried to hoop it. Are you trying to hoop it? Open gym, whole bottom just fell off. So you was Nate Robinson hooping in the fakes? Yeah. (laughs) Nate Robinson hooped in fakes? Yeah, he ain't know, but he got whacked. Oh, he out of pocket. That's crazy. Out of pocket. Hey, man, I don't want to do this, but shout out to my homie Josh Carpenter. He had the craziest 13s I've ever seen in my life. (laughs) See, I wasn't getting done wild. The craziest thirteens I've ever seen in my was, life. I, I didn't want to get done too freaky, bro. I had the all black tens. Oh my god, they came out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ain't nothing worse. Oh, when they came out, nigga, you know how they had the little mint gray. They had like little gray in them. Yeah, yeah. hell no, mine was jet black. <laughs> Shout out to the like, bodega. Yeah, yeah, they killed me. <laughs> the real bodega boy. The but you disrespectful today. I don't know if y'all can see, but my boy. They wasn't by the door. Nah, these, hey, they for sure was by the door. These is my, uh, these are my go-to. They was by the door for sure. Your go-to too? Yeah, these. Nah, them hard. I don't fuck with twos, but them hard. Yeah, these my go-to. You disrespectful. It's one of the hardest Jordans ever. I like the white, red, and black ones that came out. Yeah, the I original joints. Yeah. yeah. I just don't like the black laces in them. Like, them make them look like prison shoes. Put some white laces in your shoes. Your shoes and match the tongue your shoes. The fire. Yeah. Y'all need to grow up and swap out your shoe laces, but... Another episode, and the table is bare. Y'all letting us down, man. We looking for, uh, look, we trying to get y'all right. It's available. Link in bio. You can hit up the email. You can hit any one of us up individually. Um, not me. Hit us, not you. Not me. But he, he runs the page. Hey, y'all know what I got li- uh, from last episode. Hey, talk honey about pack. it. Honeypack.com. <laughs> What's it, VIP? Honeypack VIP? <laughs> That's what they call him, HPN. Honeypack Nacho. Honeypack T. Cap. <laughs> nah. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I got the DM, though. Oh, that's <laughs> nasty. <laughs> They DM me on the honey pack. Let's see what. Oh, it. yeah, shoot what they said. Please, Please. shout them out. Let me see what they said. Honey pack boys. Uh, <laughs> I was fucking crying. I said, and he was the nigga low key against the kind of like, man. Oh, I deleted it. Oh, <laughs> okay. I sent it to y'all, though. I sent it to y'all. I did send it to yeah, y'all. Yeah, it's in the 520 chat. Yeah. I think Mike got it too. He ain't going to tell us about it too. You know what I'm saying? It might hit his algorithms. You know what I'm saying? My boy, Big Sea Walking behind honey the scenes. Honeyshop.com. Hello, thank you for mentioning us on a, uh, mention our product on the podcast. We got a free offer pack for you guys. Honey VIP. Yeah. <laughs> you can put it on your chicken. <laughs> Send me the pack. <laughs> Sample place OTW. That's not. I told you, boy, if I see the Hendrix hey, experience pop look, up with the honey pack and the know VIP. I with Popeyes, nigga. That honey mixture, that hot sauce is crazy on Man. that two piece. If you put hot sauce with the honey pack, That's you so need weird. to be in fucking jail. <laughs> I'm on that. 
That's ridiculous. Because I can't swallow pills, pause, but. <laughs> but you swallow the honey? Hey, to- yo. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, they you turned up. That. They turned up today. <laughs> you said that. I'm just saying, I got to take liquid medicine, bro, if I'm sick. So, yeah. Respect. But while we're here on the promo, since nobody gave us no advertisement, you know what I'm saying? We got to shout the home team, Hendrix Experience is back. You feel me? We back, baby. May 28th is going down. Oh, yeah, bro. yeah. Right before Memorial Day. Yeah, 6 to 10, we partying, baby. Pull up on me. You ain't got to go to work the next day. And if you do, you got to get a better job that they're making y'all work on Memorial Day. That's yeah, slavery. for sure. Because yeah, I do tough. got all, I got all the blue-collar people that pull up to my shit. That's why I fuck with them. Out the gate. And I got to ask a question for y'all. Memorial Day weekend, you know what I'm saying? We've all had some good times. Y'all re- dealt with this chick during Memorial Day weekend. She went out of town? Mm, I was always... Before I settled down, I was always in Miami. Mm. Memorial Day weekend. Mm, I dated a girl that went to Vegas one time. How was the communication like? Was it I text back? Care. I ain't care. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all know I don't really got no feelings. I yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know, bro. I just believe in letting letting the motherfucker be, bro. Let let her be. If she going to go out of town with the girls, like, if, you, if you're dealing with somebody that goes on, like, random girl strip, I think you should appreciate her, bro. Well, how is it when you know some of her friends, you know what I'm saying, a little bit little ready to hoop than the other ones? Right. So if if one of them ready to play open gym, mm. well, majority <laughs> of them, you got to make sure you're dealing with the one that just want a referee at best. <laughs> at best. <laughs> they references are so great. The referee, that was <laughs> – I, I got him. <laughs> hey, 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 he came to play. Hey, 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 he he, he lobbed the day, boy. He lobbed. Saying, though, yeah. So you always want to make sure you don't want to go for it. <laughs> if your girl LeBron, that's crazy. <laughs> so your girl's dated, LeBron versus Celtics. Uh, okay. Ooh, she a killer. My, oh, Miami Heat LeBron. Or versus LeBron. Versus Pistons. Oh, oh my God. Miami LeBron. Oh, she Miami LeBron. She's out of pocket. Oh, she going to end up in the music video. You going to be mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. yeah, I always want my bitch to be hey, we'll work it. <laughs> Running the sidelines. Wait, the PG or the, or the referee? Because <laughs> no, he played we, the game before we, he was nah, a ref. Nah, nah. Shout out to my dude Haywood. That's my guy. He, you know what I mean? We tapped in. But it, for real, I need the, the referee Haywood. Like, <laughs> my girl can't be LeBron. You know what I mean? Because then you got cause you got LeBron, you got your E-Mine, and then you got your JR. All uh, right. Your JR is a real term one that, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm coming too. Uh, That's uh, JR. So you, you really don't want Jr. You want you don't want Jr. Because she don't got no hotel. She came down there just right. for the vibes. She <laughs> gonna stay wherever she's staying at. Oh my she God. wasn't included in the, in the group so itinerary. W- what about uh, Iman? Like, what is that? Iman is like the uh, go play the role. Yeah, I don't want to, but fuck it. All yeah, right, all right. Because you know Iman was always like Iman. I ain't gonna say shout out to Iman. He was never a follower, but Iman shout was like mom. shit. I'm on whatever we on. Ultimate yeah. team player. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Right. hell of a team player. So. But you, if your girl, bro, <laughs> Ooh, that's you tough. out of pocket, bro. You don't want your girl being a ringleader of the Nah. Shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Nah. You know what I'm saying? The offseason, some players look better in the offseason you know, <laughs> than in the regular season. <laughs> you don't want her to be a summer league legend. Like, you don't yeah. want to see how she was in Vegas when she got all the touches. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. So she might be Ben Simmons in the summer. Oh. Yeah. Now that see that's the problem. <laughs> when, when, when you see him on the mixtape shooting jump shots, and then when y'all hooping, all you all you see is a couple putbacks. Where what, these moves been coming from? So what what girls you <laughs> what girls y'all think get the most love? The more lax one that be chilling in the VIP. Say it was a section with six girls in the VIP section. Mm-hmm. Is it is it the lit one that's going crazy, but she hard, or is it the chill one? She ain't mid, but she like an eight, and she just chilling in the cut. Who would you? First of all, you need to look at the one that got the most designer on and just counsel her out the way. Because wow. either she lit with a sponsor yeah. or that's going back on Monday when she get back home. You okay, don't want to so gamble on that because you never know what that could be. That's so a hell of a variation. All right, P, we got to keep doing what you're doing. Right. So who? So <laughs> You get so canceled. Keep doing what you're doing. Are we shouting out the girl that got on the Forever 21 ensemble? Is she safe? No. Nah. Yeah, I respect it. She ready to play. What you feel like? She ready to play. She oh, ready to go sure. crazy. She need a sponsor. Because she's trying to get, like, Dior base. Yeah. Her, her Dior friends. For sure. But okay. but she might appreciate the upgrade from the coach because she might have the Forever 21 with the, you know what I'm saying, the big coach, not the little one, okay. as you would say. Yeah. The big coach, not the little one, you know what I'm saying. She can keep a couple of accessories in there that she probably shouldn't have, you know what I'm okay. saying. But So this, the girl in the Dior is a demon. We're going to note that. If she, it, nah, we, she might not be a demon. She might be already put up. 
Mm, and that's that's even worse. Well, actually, you know what? I recant. That might be good or bad. If she already put up, it means she ain't going. Like like you said, cancel her. You might be. That ain't, yeah. that ain't your style. So I wouldn't count her as a demon. Because you got you got you got the demons. The demons be the one. You got Saks Fifth. You got H and M and Forever Twenty One. So the H and M for sure. So you feel like the Forever Twenty One. The Forever Twenty One is trying to get to the Dior. Yeah, they all. But yeah. the H and M is 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 she's neutral. She's, she's free. She's I, safe. I, I, where, where is our girl <laughs> correspondent? At? Kiki ain't gonna work <laughs> but today. She ain't gonna keep it real. <laughs> but that H and M called off. It's a, it's a lot to say because she paid high quality <laughs> prices for low quality fashion. <laughs> the Forever Twenty One, she came functional. She tried to be comfortable. She tried to get her shit off. Okay. Who who you think pay their bills? Oh. And Forever Twenty One, you think Forever Twenty One pay their bills? I, I'm rolling. Y- yeah, her apartment is solid. She's yeah. in a nice place. So what about the H and M? Is the H and M on the mattress? Yeah, like you said, it could get spiky. Oh, cactus like. Yeah, it could get she, she, pay her, she pay her bills. Yeah, I think the H and M girl might pay. She her use her child bro. support. <laughs> oh, he giving me this kid. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> here we go. Hey, y'all, y'all, sh- I was trying to keep this neutral. <laughs> it's up. <He's> <laughs> oh, man. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying, like, Ooh. she, the child support play a role in it, too. Though. So, wait, you said she said this child support on a bottle service, or you said she paid for the creek? <laughs> so, who was? Because <laughs> that Miami it. trip by the came off that was happening. So who and was, I respect it. Okay, so who was more safe? The Dior chick with two kids. Nah. But they older. They like seven and above. Oh, uh, yeah. She's. Or the Forever 21 with a two-year-old. Cancel her going? with a two-year-old. <laughs> Cancel. Because she's still, she still dealing with Buddy. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Buddy still there. Uh, she ain't got out of the Forever 21 yet. He still can save a day. Okay. The Dior with the grown kids, her time is limited. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a great uh, exception. Yeah, she yeah. ain't going to have no shot clock violations. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. I fuck with it. I'll just see where y'all head was. Man, y'all think it's now, Forever 21, <laughs> <laughs> she might she might try. <laughs> to me, out, off our conversation, I feel like Forever 21 is real risky. Real risky. She might You might flip the phone and she just might drop her she turn And she low-key trying to get to the Dior. Yeah, so you don't know which way she want to go. She might want to be. I know what you're going to get with the Dior. Mm. You either can shop or you can't. Who gonna Forever be the, 21, she, who you she think going to be the drunkest in the club? The Dior, the oh, Forever, no, no, or the no, no, H&M? No. The, the who going to show out? The H&M. H&M, for sure. Because she came down there with no itinerary. She didn't came out there <laughs> with no hotel booking. She got a one-way ticket, and she going to get back oh, however wow. she get back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're going to crucify us, bro. <laughs> We're here. No, nah, that's, that's, I mean, shit, because they. They're going to crucify. No, nah, they bro. not, because girls can't really, they really want to pick yeah. whatever. You know what I'm saying? They can't be, they ain't going to be like, ain't no, I don't think. Any I girl can't wait this. for a girl to do the podcast for for the dudes. <laughs> <laughs> who's a Dior, who's H&M, who's wherever, what's where that's going to be gonna funny. That's going to be legendary. Because they're going to start oh asking God. you niggas who got your Gucci outfits on AliExpress, and then it's going to make everything all spooky. Oh, or who, or that, like, they're going to hold that sign up where it's 20 niggas with two bottles. <laughs> And you know what's nasty? <laughs> you know what's nasty? They got hey, the signs with the letters now. Oh my they need to start putting God. niggas' names on it. This is Sean's bottle, not you eight niggas over here. Yeah, Don't drink crazy. it. That's crazy. And nah, t- that's why you niggas got to start getting a group name. Y'all got to start getting a quick name. <laughs> no, Bottles coming out, bitch, 520. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and that's nasty. <laughs> it's my choice. Because if that motherfucker, if that billboard say Derek on that motherfucker, <laughs> Derek and Neil. <laughs> Derek and Neil? I don't want to be oh. Neil. Because <laughs> the shit, nigga, we was in Houston, bro. Talk about it. Shout out to my Houston family. Mm. Bro, so, you know, nigga, everybody put in, a, you know, a couple hundred for the sex or whatever. Bro, so it was some niggas next to us, bro. Nigga girls came out with a car. Nigga, the niggas walk. It's a nigga in the middle, but it's girls on the outside of that motherfucker. Nigga, they in a the car. And that motherfucker really said, bro, that's where I got it from. Derek and them, bro. I ain't bullshit. Like a group, nigga. Damn. I said, bro, that's embarrassing. Derek bro. and them. Why would you do that, bro, to your guys like that? Like, he ain't trying to make them feel bad. He, he was in that motherfucker. You knew who Derek was because Derek was in <laughs> Derek, that Derek. bitch. <laughs> Yeah, Derek, Derek had on Dior that night. Yeah, <laughs> I spent my buddy. Derek had on some Dior sandals with the straps across the feet, Ooh. nigga. Uh, yeah. He was lit. <laughs> lit. Now, he we was, was at a pool party. Oh, shit. that's fair. 
Yeah, we was nah, at a pool party. I thought you was nah, in a club. he wasn't out of pocket. <laughs> I thought he was in a club nah, looking at aquatic. <laughs> nah, he wasn't out of pocket. He wasn't out of pocket, but yeah. he was at a pool party, bro. Swear. Yeah, we got to talk about you niggas and these sparklers. And also, y'all got to quit wearing screen print Gucci. Gucci does not wear make screen print authentics. They do not make soccer jerseys. Damn, they don't. No, nigga. I don't wear design. I don't know. I don't wear design like that. Either. All right. <laughs> he got a Blissyaka hoodie. <laughs> He's out of pocket. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that's, that motherfucker's in bold print. This, <laughs> this, this, this hoodie <laughs> old as hell. Yeah, that this, ain't Obama change, my this nigga. Is I, this is what I used to wear. Talk and about. he washes clothes. He out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, niggas can't wash their clothes? Nah, bro. You supposed to take the designer shit to the cleaners. Man, I don't wear designer, man. This is... I told you, it's about a dough, too. I, man, the cleaners is crazy, but we just reminisced about how I hope she moved that washer and dryer in your unit. Yeah, bro. Fuck around the dryer. The dry cleaners might be the move going forward. <laughs> I'll fuck around. I got a hernia helping me here move. <laughs> <laughs> the heaviest dryer ever had I'm my motherfucker. I'm not moving no washer and dryer. That motherfucker stayed at a crib, man. I'm not moving no washer and dryer. And we got to talk about it. When we get older, hey, if you can't afford to get movers, you just need to stay where you at. Because if you got to hit my line at 35 to help you move, I'm not coming. I'm going to answer and tell you no. I'll help my niggas move. I'm not. <laughs> I'm yeah, not really I'm, helping, I'm helping my guys move. My guy called me to help me move. It's over with. That's tough. I'm going to send you 200. Uh, see, that's love. Why? Oh, you know what? I don't know. On everything, I just moved. I was going to call you for the truck because <laughs> I really low-key needed that hoe. Uh, you could have you used the truck, but yeah. You asked my nigga to get down there and get with the squad. Oh, nah, oh, no. manual labor has never been part yeah. of my. And he got cabbage knees now, so I don't even want to put bro through that. You know what I mean? He's still, <laughs> hey, this nigga, not so somebody wrote to me pound cabbage knees one day. I said, nigga, what the fuck? Why would y'all disrespect my joints like that? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga made out a silly fuck. Yeah, yeah. I still get buckets. Nigga, we just won a championship in 30 and over. Told Talk y'all. about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I told y'all what time I was on. <laughs> Shout out to the team league. All yeah. my niggas with the waist trainers on. <laughs> See? Yeah, here you go. The <laughs> here you go, man. Fat. Uh, so fatty. <laughs> Y'all know Fatty tell Fatty, yeah, they was double teaming. They still They won, still so. double teaming you in the league, yeah, bro? Yeah, they won. They hate Hey, man. We were just talking about this. And it's crazy now, you know what I'm saying? We doing our thing here a little bit. Still growing. How's it been for y'all, like, going places? Like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know what I'm saying? You've kept notoriety, and we've been podcasting for a little minute. But, like, the responses I get when I go places about this shit be hilarious. Because people really be knowing what the fuck we be talking about. Hey, first of all, I don't get the notoriety no more from basketball. Damn. I mean, a little bit. I'm lying. I do. But a dude in the bank, bro, I'm in the bank. And um, I had on the 520 podcast hoodie. The little ones I got Shout or whatever. Shout out to the merch. And the dude was like, oh, you're from that podcast. So I'm like, yeah, like, yeah. He like, man, that Jimmy Butler, uh, that Jimmy Butler was hilarious. I'm like, okay, yeah, thank you. He like, how did you get in there? How were you there? I'm like, what? <laughs> he like, how were you there? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he was like, how were you there? I'm like, everybody don't know you. Who? I'm like, is he joking right now? Like, I'm like, he like, <laughs> were you like, Kim, were you there? Were you watching the practice? I was like, nah, I played. And he was like, you played in the NBA? I was like, yeah. I, I was like, I played 12 years. So like, who'd you play for? Told him all the teams I played for. And he was like, man, that is cool, man. That is really, that's amazing. I'm like, is this nigga for real? <laughs> he hit you with and the other awesome. dude that I bank with, he he like laughing. Like, he, I'm like, he got to be playing with me. Pause. And he like, well, nice meeting you. And I'm like, oh, he was for real. Yeah, So bro. it's pretty cool that we get some love like that. Cause and you know outside bullshit. of basketball, that's your first real moment. Yeah, and it kind of made you feel away. That's why I fuck with you. I ain't going to lie, I did feel away. I was like, nigga, I hoop. I hoop, bro. Like, don't disrespect me, bro. I hoop, nigga. Your shit. Like, I podcast, but I'm a hooper, nigga. Like, I hoop. Like, I'm about to run my resume down. And I'm the coach at Pike. Like, mm. stop playing with me. He don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> he ain't care hey, nothing. He ain't care nothing that about said, that. said, were you there? I swear to God, I'm like, is he for real? He's like, how, yeah. did, how did you? Were you there? How, how did you know it's crazy? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> did you not listen to the clip where I said I played Man, against him? I'm like, he's got to be playing, but that's damn, fine. that shit crazy for you too, because I'm you merging at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Cater business going crazy, and this mm. shit like, I seen you in the club with the apron on. Niggas was still asking you five twenty questions. That's crazy. Nah, yeah, for real. That, the last event we had, shout out to Sunset Sundays, Mike Jeezy. Mike G, we got another one. It's sold out already. You know what I mean? Catch Appreciate the one in July. Everybody grabbed a ticket, but. Yeah, bro. At the last one, it was just more so of, uh, man, y'all funny as hell. Keep going. 
people really, really tune into this shit more than I thought. That's why I asked you about the YouTube comments because I didn't know. Like, nah, we, I ain't saying we huge, but people, people know what we do. Shout out to the YouTubers. It. I fuck with y'all. The comments be hilarious as fuck. We need all of that. We appreciate it. Why the shit I had, man? I went to church on my mom and mother's day. There's some people in there I had seen in a while. We in sanctuary, and niggas is asking about 520. Bro, I can't talk about this up here, bro. I'm already next to a bishop every week. I don't want to commit no more sins, y'all. Nah. <clears throat> and they really want to ask, are you a bishop? I think that shit is actually hilarious. Yeah, people be asking, you know, I say automatically. Somebody yes. told me you should make a shirt saying Greenleaf, like Bishop Greenleaf on nah, it. We ain't putting Greenleaf on that. Why make, you hating? Yeah, matter of no. fact, it was Hey Good. He said I should make, Shout out to Hey Good. He said I should make ones with uh, they bought a dough, <laughs> and you should do the bishop. Yeah, just and straight said, DJ should do talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> My job is to get everybody in trouble on this talk podcast. Talk about it. That's Ooh. what we're here for. Nah, that shit crazy, though, bro. I appreciate all the love. We all do. Appreciate nah, for real. I fuck with y'all for real. I really appreciate it. Nah, for sure. This shit yeah. relatable, bro. I had a question. <clears throat> if we wasn't doing what we was doing, like, we as kids, <clears throat> what the fuck did y'all want to do when y'all grew up? Like, what did y'all, like, fuck with? Yeah, I wanted to be an engineer. I always been in music. I'm a musician. Play every. I respect everything that's hands on with the physical instruments yourself. Not none of that keyboard. Like damn, you disrespect the keyboard niggas. Not none of the synthetic shit. Nah, I'm talking about like niggas that can really play the keys. I fuck with you. Shout okay. out to my nigga Lou Hogan. It's my guy. Lou. Yeah. So we appreciate shit like that. But yeah, bro, I'll probably be an engineer. Shout out to my nigga KY. I will want that type of lifestyle type shit. Yeah, you was a church drummer. I forgot. Yeah. You named me in the hierarchy. Who yeah, worse? And I play the bass. All that talk shit. Talk shit. I play the keys. Yeah, I'm, I'm fluent with everything. But yeah, bro, I, I'd have been a musician full time if I could. Who worse? The church musicians or the church deacons? Because y'all, uh, y'all didn't really connect. Nah, musicians. We fuck more hoes than them. That's a fact. <laughs> For sure, we get <laughs> way on, man. Yeah, we who we we our full jail, our full open court runs is way fatter. We damn near like what uh, Nick Young gonna be playing in Where LA? Go <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Rico is like when you hoop at like twelve and shit. What be fat? What's the tournament and shit? Drew Lee, Drew Lee, Drew Lee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drew Lee. So like the musicians are the Drew League, the the Deacons are like the Teague League. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all my Teague League niggas, though. Them are some of my yeah, best friends. Yeah, hey, crazy. the church musicians past the uh, photographers was getting the most hoes. Oh, for sure. We yeah. was elite. Yeah. We still are. Yeah, hey, look, the photographer y'all had. We the only ones that don't have real allegations. It be it go from the pastor straight to the deacons and skip <laughs> over us. No, nah, that's real. <laughs> no, nah, for real. Because y'all be you having ain't all the- never heard a famous musician in, in some BS. And they be ever. having all the secret babies. Yeah. Yeah. We be sniping them sopranos. <laughs> In the choir. Yeah, what is it, yo? My mama's, my mama rolling over in her grave right now. Oh. <laughs> do He's out of pocket. Shout out to Mama C. <laughs> yeah, she, she's the word, man. Shout out to Mama C. But now, nah, what would you do if you didn't go to the league, bro? Uh, shit. I can't even lie. My whole life been surrounded by basketball, so I ain't never really think I was going to the league. I had a five-year plan. I was going to go overseas after I graduated, play five years. Try to get like two or three million dollars and then just come back. Just chill. Coach and uh, try to work in the school system. So I was like, all my friends. That's Damn. crazy. So, like, when did you feel like it was up? Like, I mean, obviously, I know you hit your, your stride, like, heavy in the freshman year, sophomore year. But, like, when was you was like, oh, damn, I'm really on some league shit? Like, that sophomore year shit? Not after my freshman year. I knew I could make it to the league. Uh, I competed against some people that was in the league. I'm like, oh, I can make it to the league. But I ain't. The league wasn't really, like, on my mind, like, growing up. Like, you've seen it, but it just didn't seem believable. Like, mm. man, niggas don't go to the NBA. Like, NBA, I'm only six foot. Like, everybody knew went to the NBA was six, five, and up. So, it was, like, crazy to think that. But it happened, I guess. Yeah, like, <clears throat> actually kind of working around the NBA as I got a little bit older and realized, like, the business aspect about Rahan, I'm like, it's crazy how many people can, like, not reluctantly get in the NBA, but some people actually are blessed enough to, like, fall into the NBA. You got some people, like, they've been groomed their entire life. Yeah. Like, you saw at 10, 11, 12, like, we saw EJ. We knew EJ was going to be a pro, yeah. regardless of how shit shook. Yeah. And the other niggas were like, oh, shit, they peaked at the right time. But God damn, that's why I be fucking with the draft so much. Because it's always a name you ain't never heard of them motherfuckers. And they had a crazy college career on some random shit. And they fuck around and be millionaires for the rest of their life. Yeah. That's why I fuck with the draft so much. I don't be caring where niggas go. I just like seeing the reluctancy of people getting in and just like, oh, shit, I got an opportunity and taking off of that bitch. Because a lot of niggas don't make it to the league, and they be cold. 
Yeah, that's a fact. Like, a lot of people, it's probably people way better than me that didn't make it to the NBA. And it's like, damn, I was just lucky to get in there and change my family's life. That's all I really cared about. I ain't never really cared about wins and losses. Like, when they start talking about rings and championships and all shit, I turn the mic off. I, yeah. yeah. That's what we agree, yeah. bro. I just, I don't judge a nigga's career. As much shit as I give him, bro, he had a great career in the league, and I respect that more because niggas really take care of their family. You don't yeah. really base your everyday life off a of ring. That's nah. bullshit. Yeah. It's that's propaganda that media shit make. And that's what like for me, like, I always wanted to be around sports in some way or capacity, but as I got older and really started being in it and like working your ass off to not even get an opportunity, it's just like none of this shit really matters. None of the shit they tell you supposed to do, this shit don't matter. That ring shit is for networks. It's for people to talk about. Go ask a nigga in the NBA right now where he have a max deal or NBA ring. I bet you they pick a max deal. Shit, I told Mike Conley we can switch any day. Nah, <laughs> we can switch every any day, bro. I'll take your contracts fact. over that ring, all-stars, all that. And that's crazy because, like, some people die for that. So I'm like, yeah, it's cool, bro. And it's cool to be honored because you call. You want that respect going yeah. forward. But I want that bread because, like, shit, most NBA careers ain't longer than five, six years. You make it 10 years in the league, you went crazy. Yeah, you had a good life. But, but if you came straight from college to the league and you was in the league 10 years, you fucking around leaving the league at, like, 29, 30. Yeah. You got a whole lot, lot of life to live, bro. I want that bread. Yeah, I want the bread. Speaking about that, I got a question. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Would y'all rather be the 20th pick in the draft or – the third round pick in the second draft. But you cold, though. Like, what? how you going to gamble that? Like, would you rather take that? Because, you know, the second round niggas, if you cold, you eventually get the bread faster, the new contract faster than a nigga that went first round. So what would you play with your life with? I've always been a person to believe that if I could go high second round to a garbage team that's going to let me cook, I'd rather do that because you get paid quicker. Yeah, but now they be putting you in contracts like <laughs> the 360s. <laughs> Yeah, they put you in a, a four-year deal, deal, a team option, all four years. Like, you like, damn. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> nah, they do. But it's real. <laughs> That's what they be doing. Like, first two years guaranteed or something, then team option, team option. And you like, damn. So they don't even get to the money fast no more. But, like, back in the day, like, when Wes Matthews and them got paid fast. Like, Gilbert mm-hmm. and them. Uh, yeah. Was shit. it better for them to take, you think? Was it better for them? Nah, to they would have wanted to be first round. Okay. I guarantee if you ask them, like, man, would you want to be first round pick? They've been like, yeah, because you guarantee, like, it don't happen for everybody. That's real. Like, yeah, I, shit, I was happy being first round. A first round is guaranteed what? Four years. Yeah. For the most part. You got team options. Even late? Yeah. Uh, 30 yeah. is the last pick. You got team options every year, but okay. for the most part, you get four years. But at the same time, you got to deal with the fact that GMs have egos, and they jobs on the line, too. So if they pick you in the first round, even if they don't fuck with you, they have to somewhat yeah. develop you or they look stupid. Yeah, mm-hmm. And the only problem I would say is that job reassurance in the NBA is crazy. Because I, I always say, I can't imagine playing under the pressure of a contract year. You got to do that shit every single year. And it's a possibility that, you know, depending on how things shake, somebody in that front office be like, hey, make sure he don't shoot more than 12 times a game. Mm. So even if you're cooking your ass off, you're still not going to get the opportunity. So your bread getting played with regardless. I couldn't imagine living under that pressure, nah, especially if that's your year. life. Contract years are tough. Yeah. I'm, I broke out in hives, and the guy was, like, so. Damn, for real? Yeah, I was, like, because everything mattered to you because you just be thinking. Like, that's why I used to mess with extensions. Like, you can get an extension, extend me. Like, pause. Like, I ain't <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I said, pause. <laughs> I said, pause. I was like, you cook. I was like, you cook. I said, pause. I said, pause. I said, pause. <laughs> he clear. He clear. I'm about to use that one, though. <laughs> that's pause. I'm the honey pack. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the honey pack hey, extend yo, me. What, what hey, the hell, man? Hey, yo. Yo, he's out of Shout pocket. out to Reese. That's a pause. <laughs> yeah, it's a pause. But now nah, you said, nah. <laughs> Go ahead, add the plus two on there. We'll figure yeah, the rest out. <laughs> I'll figure it out later because, man, I broke out in hives, man. I was, like, trying to get a deal. I'm playing. But, like, you know, you have a bad game. You're like, oh, I'm hurting my stock. You know, you just <laughs> stuff going through your mind. So I'm like. Nah, you I'm said cool. You broke out of hives. Broke so, bro, that's serious. Hives. That was my first one because you know your first four years. After four years, you really uh, people think you got money. You really don't got no money. Yeah. Like you probably, if you a nineteenth or twentieth pick, after your first year, four years, you probably got maybe one point eight to two million dollars saved up, and that's if you doing good by saving, yourself. saving. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you, I, don't, I got a Hellcat. 
That's it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you really saved him. Damn, you look like an army nigga. <laughs> you yeah, signed up and got the whip. Yeah, you got to, like, <laughs> nigga, I got a rental property, and I don't live in New York. I live in Georgia, so the rent wasn't that high. Like, you got to be saving, saving. Yeah. So, Ooh, that shit tough, too. Yeah. I'll be thinking about them property taxes. Like, I, I, like, it's crazy how, like, you can see, like, oh, they make $4 million. Okay, you're looking at that four, and it's really 2.75. And then it's probably really two point five. It's probably yeah. Then it's probably eight. two before you, got, you get it. Yeah, you got agent fees. Ooh, that's shout out to Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Get that max deal. I'm saying like you got agent fees, you got other stuff that take it. So you you probably looking at two million. Ooh. When it's all said and done, and then yeah. you still got to live. Still got to do. And life. you don't live a regular life. Nah, you still got mama. Mm. You know what I mean? You still got stuff. So, so. shout out to mama. <laughs> you didn't catch, that was before Cash App. I'm happy you wouldn't leave before Cash App request, boy. You would have been pissed. My mama knew it was always cool, though. Nobody never really asked me for nothing. But I'm just thinking, like, if I was done after my first four years, shit. And I left for, I left with a million, point one point eight. Like, I had to live the rest of my life. I don't know, man. That'd be tough. No, not, no, nigga, that's hard. It would be tough. You adjust. I mean, it wouldn't be tough because you got a great no, head you start. You're not no wild nigga. No, nah, you got a great head start. But, like, if you was a wild boy, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, bro, you wouldn't have been able to. I mean, you, you pretty much chill. You reserved. You, you can still work, and so you still have a great head start. But I'm just yeah. saying, like. But you ain't about to go work at T-Mobile. If, if you, if a motherfucker gave you 1.8 and told you to just use this to live the rest of your life, you could stretch it. Nah, you can. I mean, because obviously, stretch it, bro. I mean, most nah, people won't can, even touch a million dollars working a regular job their whole life. I get that. You but. can, but I'm saying if you grew up and you a first round pick, you ain't most time you ain't go to school for four years. Mm. You ain't never really work. Now nah, yeah. your skill sets are really behind. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. So like that one point eight. And depending on who around you too. If yeah, you if ain't your niggas you. is not knowledgeable and just you know yeah, what I mean. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be you, tough. Yeah, it'll be tough. I don't know. You can make it though. Whatever. All right, question. So we talking about relevancy, what's going on right now. And by the time this news cycle comes out, we'll probably get more information. We see a lot of people in the NBA, like you said, they become or just pro athletes, period. They come from situations where, you know what I'm saying, crazy backgrounds. Now they got the bag. Now they got to adjust. When you see situations like with Ja, it's just like, cool, you got a max deal. But we've seen so many people get in that situation before they get the bag. And then it's just like, now what? It's like, how do you live your life where you've already been to this situation or groomed to be here, and then you hit a wall? It's so many people you probably came into the NBA with that just was not in the NBA no more. Even some they even went overseas, they just hit a wall. And, like, that's crazy to me how you could go from this type of trajectory. Because, like, we look at, like, Isaiah Thomas situations where we think they're about to get this bread for whatever reason they don't. Yeah. Now you got to adjust to a life that you weren't planning for. And that be fucking a lot of people up from a mental standpoint. Fuck the money. You can always make it work. But if you're working your ass off to get this type of bread and you don't, that's like you working your ass off to get a food truck and then all of a sudden you don't. Now what do you do? Because now you got to change your whole business model. In the NBA shit, yeah. you are the business model. Your legs, your knees, your feet, you are the business. When that shit stops, how does your cash flow keep going? And how do you adjust to that shit? I ain't never lived like, I ain't never, for me personally, I ain't never count money I ain't have. So, like, That's I ain't never be like, oh, yeah, 19 million coming next year. It's like, I ain't got that money yet, so I ain't never counted. And plus, I live, like, granted, I got a nice house, a big house or whatever. That That's it. But I don't really care about, I don't know. I, maybe that's why I live in Indiana, because I just, <laughs> I'm cheap. Are I don't really, care. You're, really a regular, you're a modest I, person. Like, for real. Yeah, yeah, I don't, you know, don't really care about that. more NBA niggas than me, but out of all the niggas that I know, for sure, yeah, bro, you live a regular life. And it's come, like I tell my folks all the time, you can't blame J.R. Smith and them niggas. I'm not saying they wow with their bread, but if they was influenced by these yeah, old boy talk. niggas, yeah, they like, bro, we can go crazy with their bread. He had humble beginnings, bro. Yeah, like, I I ain't really. You no know, upbringing matters. Yeah, I ain't that's really real. see nothing that was, like, crazy. So mm -hmm. it, it ain't exciting to me to do crazy stuff. Yeah. Like, I ain't grow up, like, I seen dudes with old school cars, but. Yeah. That could wasn't you, really. Could you imagine a nigga signing a basic contract, but he grew up around Cameron and them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's gonna try crazy. to extend his life. Nigga, we still don't have nobody from the city that's a big artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So if niggas from New York, uh, it's a lot of players in the NBA from Atlanta and shit like that. But you try to keep up with that lifestyle and those players or artists or actors or whatever actresses they 
come to you once they see, oh, you one of the best players in the country? Look at Zion, bro. Zion Williamson, he really kind of started it for the NIL to me. Yeah. Like, That's real. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. feel like he started in that. And I'm like, damn, you see Drake posting me and the shit like that, bro. It kind of yeah. triggered. You didn't have that. So it was kind of like, oh, mm-hmm. nigga, like, you know, you you bet Nelly. Nelly <laughs> out of pocket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Nelly already knows Zion. Zion already lit type shit. So yeah. Zion feel like, shit, when I go out with them, nigga, I got to put on that tab too. But see, the thing is, you got people like Zion who obviously had people in his corner to keep him level headed. And then you see situations like Mikey Williams. Which is like somebody who's been groomed this way to be this lit this whole time. Now he's in yeah. a situation that could jeopardize his future. Would oh. y'all rather be Mikey Williams or Zion? What you mean? I'd rather be Zion. Zion get paid on got a hoop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zion on a max deal and <laughs> getting ten million from <laughs> Jordan or whatever he get from Jordan. I was just saying Elite little Mike, PTO. <laughs> little, little Mikey got that ten mil from Puma. That, that ain't nothing. That I got a hundred. I got a hundred from and Jordan 17. and I got a hundred and ninety five from Yeah, no, but he might have to put a million in adult though. But he might have to put a million on commissary. Twenty? Twenty one? Zion, yeah, he's, he's about he, 23, bro. Yeah, he's on deal. 22, so. all right. It's up. So give me that. Okay. I'll be I'll ask, asking. And I ain't hoop. <laughs> I was just saying, nigga, uh, give me, at 17, nigga, give me 10. So that means I'm touching five. Like, you're cooked. He done, though. Yeah, you're cooked. Y'all think he done? Yeah, bro, come I'm on, I'm not going to say he done. I don't think he done. I don't want to do that to him. He got an uphill battle. I, I mean, obviously, I wish him the best. I don't want to see no young black man get fucked up. But right. he, he's facing a tough situation, bro. Anytime you in that type of time, bro, and you got that type of spotlight, that's hard to beat, even with yeah. your money. Now, he going to be in the best situation because he got money to provide himself for, like, lawyers and shit. But, bro, come on. That shit hard, like, for anybody yeah. to beat that shit. I was just thinking he was cool because he not no trench, baby. Shit, I don't give a fuck. Like, his crib and, like, his family straight before even he even got this. So, I feel like he not the typical hood dude that got a bag. But 10 M's. Like, I feel like he going to be straight, and then they can kind of – Damn near kind of flip that bread, bro, if they really smart about it. But how many people do we know come from good situations and do shit that they probably had no business doing? They don't that of course don't give a fuck about that shit. They just see your parents address if you might get on house arrest and might let you stay there. Other yeah. than that, they don't give a shit. You right. You right. That should be tough. Yeah, yeah. I got a pivot for you. Uh we see a lot of these podcasts now, especially that have professional athletes on there and they talk about what they like to do and how they play and all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. As a person now that they see, you know what I'm saying, you a little bit more sociable than they thought you were. In your hooping days, who was that person? Because I got a kind of got an idea. Who was that person? He was just like, damn, like, I got to get ready to guard this nigga tonight. Or who was you like, oh, this is who, who, who I'm playing tonight? Like, he's food type shit. Like, I might get a career high night type shit. Mm. Hold on. Let me get it straight. You want this nigga to tell you about a, a story where it's Christmas or where Both. it's Both. I want, I want to hear it all. Oh, okay. I'll tell you niggas I had to get ready for. Um, D-Rose, Steph, Kimba. Kyrie. Kyrie. I remember Kyrie. Dame. Me and Kyrie had a nice duel. Me, uh, <laughs> Dame. Uh, yeah, you did play the hardest guard, hardest position in the NBA. Yeah. Uh, Damn, you was on murderous row. That's crazy. Rondo, he was he went hard to play against. He just used to get rebounds. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> I wasn't blocking, you were blocking out. out. <laughs> I wasn't blocking out. Westbrook. <laughs> well, <laughs> list goes on. Everybody was cold when I was playing. Uh, well, especially when you was playing. Yeah, because you caught everybody but the in the night prom. used to be like. It was easy work. It was like, no offense, they good players, but it was like, I ain't had to think as much. It was like, Rubio. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky. Who was like, Calderon was nice, but you just didn't like, he'll, he'll bust your ass, but you just didn't. I ain't, you know, I went out when we played Calderon. Like, I'm yeah. in Toronto. I was going out. I was up. Yeah. yeah. Kyle so, yeah. Lowry, he'll bust <laughs> your ass, but it's like, I'm going out. Yeah. Like, he might bust my ass, but. All right, he gonna pass it too. He he's gonna, gonna get, take that one. Yeah, for he the gonna team. get Debo the ball. Right. Uh, my top five hated players. G Hill definitely was going out. <laughs> definitely <laughs> love George, but it was Christmas. Uh, Put a ball on him. Yeah, for sure. You stay late lobbing that night. I, I went out <laughs> on the playoffs against him. Uh, <laughs> who else? Damn. Uh, and he's gonna be the though, I'm keeping it real. Nah, yeah, you keeping it real. I mean, bro. One thing I tell and you humble. I have to say, like, bro, my nigga was an NBA All Star. Like, yeah, like, nah, G Hill was cold, but when he was in Utah, I ain't go out because he was killing that year. I was like, all right, G Hill hooping this year, but when he was in, but the Pacers, I was outside. I was like, yeah, he, it's like where the hoes at? Yeah, I'm yeah. coming back home. We have a mm. party. It's like for sure. Uh, it's hard. Who else was that? 
Houston, I'm going out. It was Pat Bev. He didn't get to shoot. <laughs> I ain't had to play no defense. And that's the crazy. You know scout reports. You know, like, yeah, I know you're decent, bro, but I know you now have a chance. To yeah, you ain't getting the ball, so yeah. I ain't had to play. Like, I knew you wasn't getting the Did he get ball. on your nerves? Pat Bev? Yeah. Nah. That was, I think that was before he was really OD like that. I yeah, that, that shit, that shit, OD. all that running, like, play, he he played hard, but that shit just didn't affect me like that. Yeah. Like, and you was fast as fuck. I was gonna yeah, say, like, like was he always seemed to be guarding, like, when we played them, he wouldn't be guarding me for some reason. He'd be guarding Kyle or some shit. Like, he'd be chasing people off screen. Like, if he uh, did, like, he would, it was like. No, nah, I got what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you know who he's talking about, too. <laughs> Kyle Corver. Yeah. NBA All-Star. Who? <laughs> Kyle Corver. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slow on award 26. <laughs> See, no disrespect. Nasty ass running back number. <laughs> Shout out to Cal. <laughs> you say he, say he had a Peyton Hills number? <laughs> that motherfucker had it. You know, you know who was like the hardest <laughs> people to guard, though? was like the dudes off the bench. Like, <laughs> so you get a, the killers off the bench. Like, when like Nate Robinson and them was up, Ben, you'd be like, fuck. Because they used to try to get the most energy. through it. Like, I hated guarding them. Like. I hated guarding like Dame and Steph, obviously, but like when Jamal Crawford and them was up, Ben, I used to be like, damn, they gonna try to score every single time. Yeah, Jamal. He, Jamal was on that with you too. Yeah, <laughs> that's your teammate. Yeah, he, he was in the blender. Score. Yeah, he was trying to score every time. I'm like, yeah, I don't like them. Hey, you know what's crazy? I never forget the story. Uh, uh-uh, y'all niggas called me. Actually, it was funny because my son was just born the day before, so I was in the hospital talking about it. And he knew Kyrie's one of my favorite players, but you was one of the first people who ever like I seen openly was just like, nah. He cold, like nah, for real, for real. He like, like his nah, rookie, he's, he's like, I be getting rookie, help, yeah. but he was cold. Yeah, yeah, his rookie year, he was. I was like, yeah, he different. Like he cold. Like I told her, but like he, he nah, different. He literally said that shit, bro. Yeah. In the living room, I'm like, roll up, because we don't never talk about who we always talk about some OC shit. But I'm like, <laughs> what? Who the hardest thing you ever had a car for? He's like, bro, this nigga Kyrie is, <laughs> is something different. I'm like, bro, he just got there. Like, nah, yeah. who for real? Like, he like. Nah, nigga, this nigga, nah, this Cleveland Kyrie nigga, this is different. That I nigga. see why he went yeah. number one type shit. Nah, he on nineteen games. He made me start paying attention to Kyrie, bro, because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't a fan like that. But he literally, that was a, his rookie season. He's like, bro, I played this nigga so quick. He got so much shit in the arsenal. Yeah, yeah. he was like that. I got a question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Well, my be him before we started the show was talking about like. How long would you want to live? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to some, uh, shout out to, <laughs> to my people. Y'all be watching this show. I ain't going to call y'all topics, <laughs> What people? <laughs> nah, they were my kin folks. But we was all talking about, like, how long would you uh, want to live? And I was like, shit, cut me off at about 80, 85. Oh, uh, well, my dick's not working. Get me up out of here. <laughs> all right. That's 60, 65. How you doing at 50? Shout out to Honey Pack. They going to get me in the game. You see the nah, sponsorship? Nah, DJ, so DJ done at 50. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if, you, if you ain't fucking at 50, that's right. I already foreseen DJ having a bad prostate. God damn. damn. <laughs> Nah, I probably ghetto won't. ass Oracle. This nigga Miss <laughs> Cleo but, next but, to me. But my nigga gonna live through it. But his prostate gonna be trash. Yeah, oh that God. nigga. Why would he say? Boss, that's <laughs> crazy. Oh, that nuts. Oh my that is God. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, if I can't hoop at fifty, yeah, send me up to the G League. 50, 50, you still fifty still, yo. You can still get into some YMCA nah, runs. Come, come get me about. <laughs> 75, 80. Yeah. yeah. 80, because after 80, bro, it's kind of you damn near your family. They fuck with you, but you now you getting on their nerves. Yeah, and bro. Now they Burden. trying to find yeah. which home they can put you in. Yeah, ain't nobody from your high school reunion still alive. Everybody in your top eight from yeah. MySpace is damn near in the grave. I don't want to be here no more, bro. I feel, uh, am I really, for real, for real, like, forget the age. Well, not really, but once I start needing too much help from you, <laughs> go on, pull the plug. <laughs> Yeah, like if I can't walk by myself, like people gotta help me up. Probably just oh, that's ahead. nasty. Yeah, go ahead and get me out of here. And hey, that's the age where don't nobody want to come get you for I the family say function. That I got bad knees. I might need help at like fifty. <laughs> yeah, be, be so careful. nah, yeah, <laughs> I take that back, cabbage. Lord. Uh, be careful. <laughs> you gonna nah, have a stone cold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back, Lord. <laughs> just come get me at like eighty, man. <laughs> come give me at eighty. Now I got a question for y'all. You know what I'm saying? God forbid, ain't putting that on nobody. Yeah. Say hypothetically, obviously, respectfully. Y'all get to like that 50, 60 age, you know what I'm saying? You was with somebody. Now you're not no more. Y'all going down to the young, to 38 over Teague League to you know, re recruit. Because I'm going to straight Robert De Niro with it. If I'm old and I got bread. What are you, 75? 
seventy five with a newborn. Uh, he's out of pocket. The boy, that, that, that baby he, won't see him. I think that's why you should date people who you like. You got to look at their mamas, their aunties, their grandmas, and see how they age. And then you be like, damn, her mama's still decent at 55, 60. Fuck it, sign me up. Ooh. Because if you, if you ain't never really tapped in, if her mama a booger, but she cool, Ooh. you kind of leaning on her to kind of, you kind of betting like, hopefully when she's 60, she going to be something. And you always got to make sure... Well, I'm not gonna say that because that's gonna offend a lot. He's saying girls. if they leave though, like at if, 60, if they y'all wake up. up. She don't wake up. You in free agency now? Oh, if oh if she croak. Oh <laughs> well, she it. What's up with it? Oh yeah, sign you me go, up. You go. You go. I ain't going to hoop at. Sign 60. me up at the factory. <laughs> Thirty and over leave. Yeah, I'm yeah. going right to the front desk. <laughs> At 60, bro. I, I didn't know. know y'all was saying that. I don't even oh, know man. where you start at. Like, that's nasty. 60, like, you gotta, uh, at 60, you got to start at 40. It depends if I'm how I'm built. 40. <laughs> if I'm like, how does, if I'm in shape. How does the real shine? The real shine, T. How does he? Not the two? aerobic instructor, because we know. 61 or, what are you, 62, 61? Oh, see? Oh, give me, yeah. If I'm, if I'm like Pops OG, yeah. sign me up for Me too, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm outside. <laughs> If I'm looking like Pops, I'm outside. Yeah. yeah. But, but if I feel like I should be a Marquette Manor, yeah, get me up yeah. out of here, bro. Yeah. That's assy. Whew. 62 trying to grab something. 30, though. You got to be going crazy. <laughs> Imagine being 60 on Instagram. I'm popping <laughs> That's them. That's nasty. Yeah, I'm probably That's popping nasty. them lifesavers. Like, I mean, popping them Viagra's like lifesaver gummies, <laughs> nigga. It's up. <laughs> you going to die. You going to die in the joint. <laughs> nah, don't Jimi Hendrix me. <laughs> You, go, you already Hendrix. Fuck this. Throw the Jimmy on there. Yeah, Pause. Paul. No. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> He's wild. Throw the Jimmy crazy. on there. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, it is what it is. Hey. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, for real, for real, though. It's a 50 year old out of pocket for dating a 35 year old woman. Nah. Hell no. That, that ain't that bad. Uh, That's kind of <laughs> crazy. Because DJ. 35, that ain't that bad. Bro. That's 15 years. DJ speak your bro. mind, bro. DJ speak yeah, your that's kind of crazy. A fifty-year-old nigga with a thirty-five-year-old. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but that is kind of like, all right, bro. At least get to the forty ball. Ten years is crazy. Nah, that ain't that bad. Fifty and thirty-five, bro. Because nah. I feel like fifty is kind of like, yeah, you don't know. And then that thirty-five-year-old girl's like, she shitty. She thirty-five. <laughs> what? So, so y'all got shitty. Y'all got shitty comments. If I'm fifty after the divorce, because listen, yes. women, women after thirty, women don't like saying how old they are. Yeah, fact. They can't really, like, so, if they have kids beyond 35, it get a little risky. Yeah, and, yeah. I'm, and so, I'm the first nigga to tell you, don't do it. Is, it, is that why the balloons stop at the birthday parties after 30? You, all the yeah, birthday sure. parties don't have no sure. big-ass balloons no so more? So if a girl's 35, she kind of like, damn, bitch, I don't know how I am. Like, that's when that, you know, menopause is from 30, 35 to 42. I did my research. That's accurate. And then you got a fifty-year-old, <laughs> you got a fifty-year-old nigga that's Dr. like, Dr. Hen. yeah, yeah. You got a fifty-year-old nigga that's kind of like, Shh, do I want the young hoes or do I? So they merge together to me. So that's why I grew, bro. Like I feel like it's perfect. Fifteen and thirty-five. Fifteen like, years is crazy. I yeah, that, that's said. wild. No, I see what you're saying. Because at forty and twenty-five is nuts. But I'm that, telling you, where that. you come at your breaking point when a the motherfucker, their fiftieth birthday, they want a crazy year. You know what I mean? You like yeah. shit. I'm fifty, but when they go home, they like I'm fifty. Yeah, yeah ARP swag. It's not yeah, the vibes. Yeah, bro. So that's that's tough. But in reverse, if you 35 year old with a 50 year old woman, you're out of pocket. I'm so. Oh, you're sick. I'm I don't young. want no. You, you try to get the trust fund. That's I, what you want. I can't wait. Uh, till Holly my Berry 50, right? Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying I can't wait till my lady Respect. 50. I go. What? Cause I seen I seen when her mama turned 50. <laughs> Man, what are y'all, man? <laughs> what are you? Man. I said, and I know I'm mean, better than her mama, so it's. <laughs> oh, it's the up. floor plan is nothing like the model. It's up. The mama is silly, and the daughter is harder than the mama. Oh, it's up. That's the first day. Hey, what's your mama look like? What Yo, this dude is crazy, <laughs> because bro. You have, because you have to listen. Listen, I'm going to talk about, I'm on some real shit. I'm off the dime, but listen. Off the dog heavily. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, fellas, any of my single fellas out there, always check the lineage. Yo, what are you mm. Check the lineage with your ladies. But some of them look to, like they dad, though. Ooh, she look like her dad. <laughs> yeah, because my daughter look like me, so I might get spooked. <laughs> 
We are twin skis. <laughs> so, yeah, so baby girl. Yo, <laughs> man, this nigga here is crazy, bro. Hey, no, hey, I'm going to ask that last too. three minutes, bro. <laughs> hey, the, the be here ISO has oh, been crazy. Keep going. Yo, Johnson level. Go. <laughs> I so Joe. Hey, I'm about to tag in. I you love got, I so Joe. You got to look at the, the 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 future pictures of Mom Dukes. You got to look at the baby pictures, too. Because a lot of this stuff, they wake up a different person nowadays. Oh, well, yeah. That's true, too. But I'm just, if you're if you're a guy that is looking for a woman and you want her, your kids to look a certain way, and you like, damn, bro, I want to. Because a lot of older dudes that I know, my uncles and shit, they like, Man, by the time my girl get fifty, she she done gain weight. Oh, her self esteem low. So they looking at other shit to trying to pull. So they always taught me like, make sure to look at her mama, look at her grandmama, and, it, and that's once you want to put the grits in, make sure it's <laughs> it's solid all the way through. Uh, it might be cream of wheat. Yeah, <laughs> and it might be cream of wheat. <laughs> Why is it the grits, man? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. <laughs> This last three minutes, nah, man, for real. You crazy. Put the if you're going to put the grits in her nephew, just make sure that's what you want to do. Hey. Because niggas really don't want to be baby daddies, bro. Oh, you, oh, wow. You bring it up at the end of the podcast. No, nah, I'm saying niggas really don't want to be baby daddies, bro. They be like, they kind of really want to be with the girl, for real, if you ask me. They Unless you're just a fried nigga that just want to have multiple kids at a late age. Nick Cannon, me. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm saying <laughs> most of all, he's lying. <laughs> Ma- majority, <laughs> the kid is crazy. Yo, yeah, he's that nigga said he sleep wherever the person calls him. <laughs> Which one calls him? <laughs> I said, he's out of pocket. Whatever, baby. Whoever FaceTime gets first. Yeah, what's up? He's like, I go wherever they call me. So would calls. you rather have ten by five women yeah. or ten by one? Oh, <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> For so sure. far, baby, mama, you. Bro, I'm nothing, if you gotta bro. go home and it's ten kids, <laughs> I'm not coming home. <laughs> I'm nothing, bro. I can ignore the yeah, other eight. My mama, shout out I to my mama. I can't ignore all ten. Shout out to my mama, Marianne is the goat. Pop ten of them things. I'm cool, bro. I'm cool off ten kids. Yeah, that's that's one family, one family, me, bro. Five different want, baby mamas, you're out of pocket. I don't want ten kids at all. Shout out to Larissa Bates, guy. Pick one. I got one. That's my dog. I don't know y'all talking about personal, but if you had to pick one, are you gonna pick five baby mamas yeah. or just Divvy one? Because yeah. one of them bound to be rich. You want. One bound to be Mariah. Hey, if you if you if you shoot twenty percent from the field, my nigga, you need to get back in the gym. <laughs> Your percentage is assy. <laughs> so what are we gonna be Mariah? Somebody yeah. got yeah. Somebody gotta be Mariah. Goddamn. Yeah. Damn. Do you think you can deal with five personalities, bro? I mean, <laughs> you can deal with one That's and have ten personalities. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> Give me one. I come from that lineage. Well, uh, I was the tenth out of that. My mama, she was hanging off the side of her leg. Yeah. She had me. So, she is. Yo, this <laughs> Yo. Anomaly. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to watch these last three minutes, bro. This shit is hilarious, bro. So I, I will give me, give me the one, baby, my motor five. So you that's want crazy. The, you want the one with that shit hanging? Yes. Give that me that roast hanging. beef. Yes. Cool. Give me the, you know when Shaq broke the rim on the, <laughs> <laughs> what's that movie? <laughs> Kazam. <laughs> Kazam. Give me this Kazam SWAT over the. Oh my God. Over the five he different said he women. Want the roast beef, bro. For cool. sure. She can Arby's. only wear boy shorts. You are doomed. <laughs> <laughs> no, granny Penny B. Oh, oh man. you're out of Move, move, move me. Oh, man. I'm cool. Over I'm five different women, this y'all is a out sick of pocket. Negro. I ain't saying I'm on five different women, I'm bro, just saying, but choose. Would you choose five, I'd probably ten choose kids? Five, bro. Yes, I'd probably bro. Choose five. I'm cool. Give me that one, cause uh, if you put ten in that one, that's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. That, them runs is silly. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this nigga, there, was, hey. there was some good runs. It ain't no referee. <laughs> <laughs> Call your home ball. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga don't miss. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Swear to God, you get 10 out of one lady, bro. You don't miss, bro. Hey, last but not least, we get out of here. It's always funny with the niggas as baby daddies that didn't want to be baby daddies. Man, that's what I feel for. You can see for that hurt a mile away. I feel for him, boy. At least baby daddy me after my kids are at a certain age. Don't baby daddy me at two. I'm shitty. He be going crazy on the Mother's Day post. <laughs> <laughs> he like, damn, nigga, I ain't even think of that. I just baby thank the Lord. Me at eight. I just thank the Lord, man. When I was 16, that. Oh, uh, yep. Oh, wow. <laughs>
Oh, wow. Shout out to the Oreo Blizzard. Yeah. Shout out to the Chop Shop, bro. <laughs> my Lord. No pit my ride. <laughs> Man. I'm so thankful, bro. Shout out to the first remix, the yeah. original. <laughs> The remix to Ignition. <laughs> Boy, because I'm thinking right now, I've been sick. Woo, you talking about the franchise talk, tag, my boy. See, y'all talking about the little nigga be out of school, he be grown. But y'all talking about the Leonard, <laughs> what they, the mama, oh, man, I've been in trouble. Ooh, we, you had a boy. Man. I, I was mean, good either way, though. Hey. You beat the odds. I was good either way. I told nigga, hey, niggas with weak baby mamas, you out of pocket, bro. <laughs> hey. <laughs> If y'all baby mom a week, you out of pocket, bro. Yours would have been. <laughs> yours would have been, but yours would have been grown now. So at this age, it would kind of been acceptable because your little nigga would have been 21. Yeah. 19. You'd 21. have been a post conference with a homie on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I made to the league. But <laughs> yeah. I might have been out of the league fucking with her. Yeah, you'd have been Liddy Cook. Yeah, what? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, my mental was young. <laughs> Yeah. My mental was bad then, though, what? back in there, because it was like, shit, Earl, before, like, shit, once I was, like, start really carving shit, I was like, damn, you get a tall girl pregnant, I'm thinking, who? Yeah. yeah. So you get some 5'9 and above pregnant, she could be weak. My son could be ugly, but he cold. <laughs> <laughs> like I was thinking, long as he get my Jordan. hair, we straight. Oh. Now I realized that her mama bought the Jordans. I'm like, yeah, she got Jordans. Mm. She got paper. She straight. Yeah, you go, you, Man, about, you, you really, about you really a shoe nigga because I never even thought of that. You yeah. about to be a coach Carter like <laughs> <a> Tati was <laughs> right. about to look out here bad. Hey, Shadi was in there cooking up that that milk on the stove. I said, uh-huh. yeah. He got to control all. Delete that immediately. Because <laughs> once I got grown, I'm like, yeah, I don't want no boys. Girl, me, because the world is crazy. That's yeah, what that's I want a girl. I don't want no. I, I, I want I, the I world want is girls. crazy. I want girls too, but nah, now that I think about, nah, no, I don't. Nah, I'll be looking at my me. little niece, man, and I'm just thinking about what I was just talking about at 16. Ah, hell no, nah, I want to do. Give me yeah. a little boy, man. Yeah, bro, but the problem is with little boys, they yeah. be on the same type of time, but they All can right. do that to multiple places at once, and yeah. you got to be accountable for exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, that's what mm. I'm saying. I'm like, give me Black China over Santana. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And on that <laughs> note, I can't wait to see the YouTube comments this fucking week. is going to be amazing. Let's go. Like, share, subscribe. Let's go. Shit. We got to get out of here before we don't have an episode next week. Shout out to DQ. Get you an Oreo Blizzard. It's summertime. It's up. Let's go. That nigga said, I don't know. Tell him, bro. All right, we got to go. The last six minutes.